Hi. I'm Anu. Hi, Anu. Um, today I'm having this beautiful guest uh, who has been, who's been an inspiration to so many women. So why don't you tell my audience who you are because it's a nice suspense for them and how did you get where you reached today in your life? Uh, I'm Nalini of Nalini and Yasmin. Uh, I think uh, in our country, we were the first prof uh, professional hairdressers. This was 45 years ago. Uh, I'd done this hairdressing course in England while, while we were there for three and a half years, my husband and I. My husband was in Dead India and I just happened to do the hairdressing course. So why did you do the hairdressing course and not anything else? Literally out of boredom, I had nothing to do. and. <laughs> I just was the kind of person who didn't want to hang around uh, doing nothing. So I thought about this hairdressing school or read about it and applied and got in. And wow. the next, of course, the, the next part of it is that I thoroughly enjoyed it. I loved the hairdressing course. I just uh, took to hairdressing well mm -hmm. and realized during those three years over there, I even worked after, after going to the hairdressing school, Mm -hmm. I even went and worked for a short while. Okay. And once I had, uh, you know, having met the kind of ha hairdressers and the inspirations at that time, mm -hmm. of course everyone has heard of Vidal Sassoon, Tony and Guy, mm -hmm. uh, Anthony Vescovo, Tony and Guy. Those were the kind of uh, inspirations that we had. So I knew that I had gone to the, to the good schools and learnt good hairdressing. Then there was a dream when we were coming back to India. Right. To have a great son. <laughs> and why were you coming very back much. to India? Why were you coming back to India? My the posting was over. My husband had to come back from okay. England, back to Bombay. And um, little did I know that my very good friend Yasmin, uh -huh. we both came and stayed in the same building, wow. just by chance. And she had done the hairdressing course in England. You can imagine what kind of destiny that is. It's like right. it was designed that the two of us would meet. So we started, we had little children at that time. So we started as a hobby in her, in her flat, which was a little bigger than mine. So in one of the bedrooms, we started out as a hobby. Uh -huh. We became quite popular. Uh -huh. And with, with the little money that we had, borrowed from God knows from everywhere, <laughs> started a small hairdressing salon very close to our house. Okay. This was two years after having worked in her house. I did not know that this decision of having done the hairdressing course would become such a major part of my life because my salon was quite successful. I'm sure you must be aware that it has been, been a, successful. I've been coming here for the last 30 years, guys. So I'm so honored to know that really, you've come here for 30 years. I mean, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing journey of transformation for me too. It started from your father. Thank you, sir. Uh, what is the kind of... Um, What's the kind of message we can give to many women out there who out of boredom get into depression and don't do anything? But oh you my, I do, that, I do that all the time. Since the time we got into hairdressing, remember we worked with women and nobody can confide more to a hairdresser than a woman can. She comes there and she'll tell you about ye aaj ghar mein ye hua, mother -law aisa hua. my husband poor fellow was not well, you know, he, uh, I've been at home nursing him. So we, we used to know sto uh, innumerable stories about our clients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what a hairdresser so, is all about. So along with being a hairdresser, you also became a good counsellor? Yes, yeah. Till wow. today we are. Wow. And I think our business if you are a good counsellor and if you know your job well and if you are a good hairdresser, you have got the right combination to be successful. Wonderful. You just have to, your attitude towards your client has to be very good. So what should be the attitude towards life to be a successful woman? Uh, to be uh, juggling the kind of things that I have juggled from home to work. Uh, I just learned to manage time well. And I was just lucky, I was a, I'm a quite a focused person. Uh, I wasn't ambitious as such, I became a bit ambitious. I think I just needed money, so I started life because I had no money. Right. And I had to make a success of it in order to earn. So it's, it's like saying if I have a need and then I find the right ingredient to put it in place. Yeah. So if, uh, if, if uh, Nalini, if some people have to find you, you, you're not somebody who's a very small name, you're a very big brand. So I'm really thankful that you're talking to me. At the same time, there are many people who don't know your 
that you know people just don't come transform their their looks but they also can transform the way they feel so if you can tell them where they can find you that would be brilliant and if you can give us your website or your phone number yeah. that would be brilliant thank yeah, you so much the website is uh, nalini uh, how can I forget? Natasha, I forgot my website. I can't believe it. Huh? What's our website? www.nalini.in That's what I forgot. Just show us, just show us this is the woman who has gone ahead without a website. <laughs> no, we have a website. Now, now she has, but for longest she didn't need one. She didn't start in the digital time. And what's, what's your phone number? What's your phone number, ma'am? 9820641433.